Hey everybody, it's Lee again with the Creative Aging Program from Arts Council OKC. So today I thought I'd go easy on you um, since we've done a lot of drawing and different stuff like faces for the first time last week. So today we're going to do clay, which I know everyone really likes, and we haven't done clay frogs yet, so I thought this would be something fun. And we're doing polymer clay frogs, and so the materials you're going to need are polymer clay, obviously, and this is just an oven-baked clay, um, so you're going to need pencil, and a toaster oven if you have one, or a conventional oven works too. And I'll talk to you more about baking instructions for those things in a bit. So, all right, um, let's just get started. All right, let me move this guy out of the way here. Load up the frogs with their lily pads. Okay. <laughs> I'll just kind of leave these guys here, and so while I'm making the frogs, you can kind of see them. So, all right. Now, what we're gonna do is, what I've done is, we're gonna kind of uh, make one of these little guys first. And this guy is actually made with this size ball of clay. I'd say it's maybe a little bit smaller than a golf ball, and what I did is I've broken it down in the, the, so all of these pieces came from this size clay ball, okay? So we're just breaking it down into parts. So what I can do is I'll, I can just leave this here so you can look at that. So and basically what I did is I just kind of pinched it in half. Okay, and then I pinch this ball kind of in half again. So one of these is for the head and the eyes and stuff into the other part and for the body. And so you're just going to make coils like this and you can roll them in your hand. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can roll them. I just, you know, roll them on your table, whatever, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, and you can you're gonna adjust some of this stuff because you're these are like extremely long legs and that's a very small body for legs like that. So we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna pull some off. Okay, and then I'm gonna divide this one in half. Okay, I'm move this so I don't wanna shake the camera. All right, I just dropped that on the floor. All right, got it. Not too much carpet in it. <laughs> so, and then I'm just going to break these up to make them a little smaller. These will be the eyes and the little tongue, okay? So we're just kind of getting your parts ready. And like I said, you're going to end up taking some of this. Add it. Like, I don't need, this is a lot because the eyes are really small. So I'm going to add some back to here because I know this is the head, okay? And I can bet I can divide these in half for the arm. So really just kind of your prep work is takes a little bit of time, okay? But this is really pretty. Um, this is a simple thing, you know, it's very different than drawing. So I know that, and clay is fun. I like function. This is just kind of some fun, whimsical art here, so. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take this excess that I'm not gonna use for the legs. And the nice thing about polymer clay is that if you need more, you can just add, pinch off and add back to it, okay? All right. So I'll just kind of move this stuff out of the way. I just liked showing you that all of these parts came from that just one ball of clay, okay. And, you know, feel free, as with every time we do this, if you can make your frog however you want, okay? Because I know this guy is a little more, he's a little different. So, and if we have time, I'll show you how to do him as well. But we're going to do this guy first. 
And now he's a little squirrely and you'll finish him up to where he's even nicer. So, okay. All right, what we're gonna do is take the, your biggest piece and let's see what piece it is. Oh, okay, I'm gonna break these down a little bit more. My table is a little wonky, so here we go. And add this one back to here. And this guy has a really long tongue. This guy has like a shorter tongue and this guy has a long tongue, but it rolled backwards, you know, rolled up like their tongues often are. So you just kind of have fun with it. Okay. So this is his body and this piece right here is going to be his, kind of his head, his lips and stuff. So. And you can see these are really still pretty big for that, and that's fine. Just kind of, it just takes a little bit of figuring out what size. And if you have more clay, feel free to use more clay. I just wanted to show you from that certain size ball of clay what you can make. Because that guy is a giant frog, and that is a lot of clay. So you can use that amount of clay for other projects. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to see what you do. This guy is going to have a little bit of long tongue. So, anyway. Okay. So, kind of figure out what shape you kind of want your frog's body to be. We're going to probably add to it a little bit. Because what we're going to do is see first how your legs are. Okay? In relation to the body. Now, your... Your coils don't have to be perfect, okay? What you kind of want to do, though, is once you figure out... All right, so when you're... For the bottom of the feet, what I like to do is just kind of make sure this part has a little bit more... Um, you know, bottom of the leg to make the foot. Huh. So I just kind of um, kind of roll it back a little bit so it gets a little bit thicker. And I put wax paper on the bottom of these guys since I haven't put them in the oven yet. But as you can see how his leg bends, that's what we're going to do here. It attaches at the back. So what we're going to do is start back right here and then just kind of bend it. And then I'm going to bend his foot forward. Now you can do this, I'll show you a couple of ways you can actually put it on first and part two you don't want to squish it really on there just yet because you may have to adjust some of your um, legs to kind of adjust for his body size we may be adding more clay so okay so I'm gonna do the other leg but what I'm doing first is on this one I'm gonna kind of see how I'm kind of flattening it out then I'm gonna take the pencil and I'm just pressing it in like this to give him his toes, okay? And you can do more if you want, and then also what you can do is what I've done is just use the pencil to kind of push it back in there so it gives them a little funny webbed look. They have strange looking feet, so what we're gonna do is put this back here, kind of whoop, bend it up. Oops, and I just squished his foot back, but that's okay. We can fix it. And so then this one, you can kind of see when, when it's on there, and I keep getting my arm and hand in the way. When it's on there, it's kind of a little bit harder to adjust it, but that's okay. And I know this seems to be going pretty fast, but you guys will take more time. And you can always pick it up and just kind of readjust it, okay? That's the one thing about polymer clay is the more you work with it, the softer it gets. And so your hands kind of get, can get sticky and then it starts sticking to you. But what I did is um, I have some damp paper towel so I can wipe my fingertips on it, which is helpful to keep your fingers from getting too sticky. Now this guy has little bitty short back legs and that's totally fine. And what we're gonna do now is let's just go ahead and these two larger pieces here, we're just going to take it in, between, in your 
between your fingers and just kind of flatten it out. And what we're doing now is we're making his head. So his, this is just a different way. We're just making his mouth, which then kind of when we pinch it together, then also kind of comes together and makes his head. So, so you're just putting them together and squeezing it at the back. And then you can kind of put your finger in there, or you can even use your pencil and just kind of bend it over there so you can kind of get a shape. Okay. Hello, I've got a rolling. And then I'm going to kind of pinch it. Now sometimes it kind of looks like a little duck bill, but you'll, you'll kind of figure it out. So, <laughs> anyway. You're going to take some of this extra clay, because I bet, you know, see his, the stuff that we pulled off for his arms is kind of a bit extreme, so you can probably take a little pinch here, a little pinch here. Okay, and same thing with these, we're going to kind of bend this a little bit for his hands, and whoop. I'm just going to kind of move the, his head out of the way for a sec. And you know, frogs have really weird arms and legs, so if it looks a little weird and disjointed, don't worry, because frogs kind of look weird and disjointed, so. And this is not realistic, it's totally whimsical, okay, so just have fun, and you can adjust it accordingly to... So, and I'll try to pick them up and move them around so you can kind of see them better because I don't want to be in the way here. So, I feel like today would be a better day to be left-handed for you all. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to attach this one. And this one, I kind of bent his arm a little bit more. You know, he can be putting his hands together, just kind of however you want it to be. And like I said, I know you guys are going to be taking a little bit more time. I'm just kind of giving you the basics here. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to use some of this to actually add to his face. So fi figure out which the one you like better, and um, which way. So, we're gonna kinda take his, and press this down a little bit, so he, we can give a fake place for his head to rest. Or I should say his mouth, because it's basically his mouth, but frogs don't really have big heads like we do there, because they don't really have much of a neck. So. So and on this one, we're just going to kind of press it down, and then for this, I'm just taking that piece that we took off, and I'm adding it to the back, and just kind of pressing it in. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to put eyes on him. And then you're still going to build up more, and I think I just squished his feet. I'm so sorry, bro. But we can go back and fix that. And so if it's easier for you, you can roll him out here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to get his eyes where you want them. And then you can take another piece here. And then this is going to be his eyelid, so you can just kind of squish it in between your fingers. And then, um, or you can like put it on your pencil a little bit like this. And then we're just going to kind of wrap it around his eye ball there. This is just a real simple way to do it here. Okay. And 
and you guys will fine-tune yours you know you can smooth it out and you know frogs kind of have bigger mouths so and then you can just use the pencil lead to kind of dot his eye and so what what you'll do then is you'll pick him up and smooth him out back here and just blend it in And if you want him to have, you know, more of a cheek, then I think he's looking for some flies. It must be flying up in the air. <laughs> so, anyway. Because you can pick him up and say, well, he doesn't really have much of a cheek on this side. And you can kind of also take your pencil and just kind of put it in here to kind of open his mouth up a little bit. So part of it is just kind of figuring out little tools. See, when you work smaller, it's nice, but it's harder too, because this side of his face looks pretty good. And you can also, you, you just use your pencil as kind of your smoothing tool too, and then you can get under there and kind of make sure. And then, because that's the only tricky part about polymer clay though is it just keeps getting stickier and different batches of clay some are drier and some are stickier so this one is a pretty sticky batch okay so <laughs> totally squished his little toes sorry wow But the good thing is I can keep adding clay on there. So. Man. And also another way to do the feet too is you can actually roll little pieces like this and just put on, you know, pieces of toe. You're not, definitely not that long, but you can do separate toes because if your clay is really sticky that might be a better option okay so and, and you'll get this stuff blended in better so just be aware okay and I'll put his little nostrils on here there we go and if you want a really long tongue you know just however you want it I like to do like a little coil and then you can just take your finger and just kind of flatten it out a little bit okay and then you can just kind of stick it in his mouth and kind of see I'm using the point of the pencil to kind of stick it down in there To make it stay. So you can have his big tongue flipping up like he's getting ready to catch a fly or it can stick to your finger. So you can do any number of things. So you can have it like that one and roll it backwards. Like he's just caught a fly and he's very excited about eating it, you know. And uh, so let's see if I can fix his poor little toes. Looks like he just got squished. Man. Poor. See, now it's actually sticking to my fingers, so here we go. You know, because some tree frogs have those big lumpy toes. And you just want to make sure it sticks. So, yeah. This guy. Or if you can get your fingers in there and, and get it to. Goodness gracious. Anyway. 
And obviously you don't want to press too hard because this is what's happened is he's gotten really squirrely, but it's you want to get it smoothed out if you can. And I'm just going to use the end of my pencil and just kind of smooth it out because when your fingers get too sticky then it makes it really difficult. So okay. So you get the idea. And then you can So, and you'll smooth more of the step out, but now you want to just kind of make sure that your frog's legs are attached well. And you can add more back here if you want him to have a bigger rear or, you know, more leg, but you get the idea, okay? And another thing you can do too is on this guy, uh, I'll kind of run through this one here in just a minute, but you can also use texture. This is this eraser is rounded, so I just did little texture bits in here, and um, and that looks kind of interesting. So now this guy is ready to go in the oven. Well, once you kind of clean him up and he kind of get him from once your frog is the way you like it. You can do like little dots on him as well if you want, or you know, if there's little places that you have little nicks or your fingernail marks, just smooth them out. Okay, and then as far as baking them, you can use a toaster oven is great. Um, do it at 275, and since this is a lot more clay, um, I, about 12 minutes. And then once polymer clay, it, it's going to be really hot when it's done. It'll seem a little soft, but once it dries, which it, when it cools off, it'll be really hard and durable. But they're more fragile when they're hot. Now, if you have to use your conventional oven, I'd put it on a um, cookie sheet, but use a, pe a piece of tin foil so you don't mess up your cookie sheet. And since we're not putting anything on them, you know, not, not any powdered pigment or whatever, it's going to be okay in your big oven. Uh, but if you're going to do a lot of polymer clay, I would suggest getting a toaster oven that you dedicate solely just to polymer clay because you don't want to eat, you know, that stuff. So 275 for about 12 minutes and they should be good to go. And stuff like this, you know, this will be the most fragile when it comes out. So you don't want to touch it while it's really hot. Plus, it's really hot, so you want to let it cool off, and then once it's completely cool, it should be very um, sturdy. So, uh, and then, I, these don't have any color on them now, but what you can use is use acrylic paints and paint them up however you like, and, and you know, that's great if you have gesso, you can actually gesso your frog and it makes it a drier surface Then you can actually use watercolor on it, but then you have to use a sealant to keep it um, on there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of do a bit of a version of this guy. So I'll scoot these guys back, oh well. All right. Okay, so we're going to do a version of this guy. You know, also, this is the same size ball of clay, and I broke out the pieces like this. So, you know, you're doing coils for the front legs and coils for the back legs, and I like to have the back legs be a little bit fatter and the front legs be a little thinner. And you're, you know, and you just kind of make a certain size and you can pinch it off or add to it, so don't worry about it. This is just to kind of get you started. And then this is actually for the eyes that we're going to do. And this is a lot, so we won't use all of that. So I kind of did a little, you know, kind of oblong shape. And we can always add some of this back into the body if we need to. So what I'm doing is kind of using my fingers to kind of pinch it in a little bit. So this kind of will give me an 
where to shoot with for the where the back legs kind of connect and then I'm just kind of pinching in a little bit to kind of give them that pointy nose face <laughs> pointing nose face whatever you know what I mean so what I'm going to do next there's going to take the pencil this is going to give him that eye ridge and I'm just going to kind of just wherever you want it I'm going to kind of push it in there and I'm also kind of bringing it up okay and then we'll do that on the other side and basically it's wherever you want his eyes to be so and then you can kind of pull it up yeah so and then you can kind of push this in a little bit more and kind of just put your finger on top because then that keeps you from accidentally breaking the clay or tearing the clay so mm -hmm. Then you can kind of put your yeah and then what you can do is I like to kind of add more on the top there and see I squeeze his body so much so that his he he kind of got pretty small back here so we can just kind of squeeze it in the middle and kind of push it back so that's the great thing about clay is you can totally adjust it before you bake it. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. I'm just going to take a couple of balls of clay and just kind of put them in the eye sockets here. And this one's a little bit bigger. So just kind of figure out which size you like. smaller so I'm going to go ahead and put them in there and then by using your pencil this one's a little bit better you can make a little dot for the eye and that also helps push it in there and keep it in you know so that when you bake it, it doesn't fall out, but you don't want to press it so hard with your fingers that you totally flatten out the eyes. So what we can do too now is I'll take little coils and just kind of make the eye ridge a little more distinct here. And then we'll blend it in. So what I actually didn't mean to do was, okay, I'm going to pop the eyes out for a minute. So. So as you just figured out, it's actually better to go ahead and do all of the adjusting of the eye ridges. And then by taking them out first, you then, then you you're not going to mess them up later. You'll just have to remake them, but which is fine. Pretty good idea. You just kind of take your time and smooth it out. See, a pencil is really pretty cool. It's a multi-tool. And so when you add clay, you'll still have to kind of readjust your face again and you can kind of if you pinch it too much then you can push it back and then you can go in here again and reshape his eye sockets and then that really kind of fluffs up the eye there Okay, so you get the idea. So you just got a little more eye sockets here, and then we push some of the clay back here for his body, and then I'm gonna kind of make sure it kind of gets a little rounder here, back here, and then you can also add more if you think you 
just kind of a little little skinny back there just add some just kind of roll it and press it and blend it in and keep going you don't have to press really hard especially if your clay is pretty warm which this obviously really is so I'm just kind of lightly pressing it in to blend it in but because if I press really hard it's going to move all of the clay and you don't want that so and you will do a better job of blending in okay so now that we readjust his readjusted his eye ridges and if you've got them where you want them and everything is blended in the way you like then we'll put his eyes back in Rerolled it up. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, there we go. This guy's eyeball over here is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And you can also go in with a pencil and kind of. A big nostril there, but that's okay. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. So what I'm going to do is take the sharper pencil and I think his nostrils are a little high, but you don't have to do what I do. It's more like a lizard. That's okay. I'm just kind of give him his mouth line, and you can kind of go over this to get. Again later, but and then remember to wipe off your pencil tip because it will drag the clay. Okay, so you've got your basic guy here. Nice. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna add those funny legs. So probably better the other way, but. So you're going to start by attaching it back here, and since he's kind of on his stomach, you want to keep it kind of low, and then bring it forward, and then kind of bend it. And you want to squish this out to get his foot there, and I just kind of like to flatten it out like that. And then you can kind of angle them out, so then you can kind of see how it's going to fit. And so now we're going to do the, I'm just going to press them down. I'm not going to kind of divide it up. So we're just going to do do this because I think that makes a nice little webbed foot here. So then we're going to attach the other leg. And I like I on the other stuff. I'm not um, pressing it down really hard yet until so we attached it back here, and I'm kind of holding it. And you can look to see how high or low it is, and then I'm just kind of gently kind of squishing it back on itself, and then pressing this to kind of get a foot shape here. Okay. <laughs> so you can kind of see. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm going to use this. And you, here again, don't press too hard so you're squishing it all the way out. Now on the, the arm, you can kind of see, I think this is a lot of arm here. So, but, and this one I'm gonna have kind of a little bit more of an elbow pointy part. And then I'm gonna kind of flatten this out here again to see for his front. Here. And I'm going to do this first just to make it easier on myself. And then, but what's going to happen is because he's so short, his body is so short, I certainly don't need all of that part of his arm. So 
I'm just going to pop a little off here. Okay, set it aside, and then I can actually kind of squish it a little bit more. So I can make the front of his arm longer and then just put his elbow back here. And you can make your frog's arms however long or short you want. Like I said, this is not realistic. This is a whimsical frog because his knees are coming way forward. So. <laughs> so I'm just pressing it on there and then you can kind of see how his... Ooh. And you can actually move their legs out farther if you want and so you can kind of see. And if it looks strange to you, then adjust the arms or legs and maybe this one. I mean, you can also shorten it up. If you think that's too long, then pop it off. And then wipe your fingers off because they're really sticky. And then I'm just going to take this and flatten it a little again and so while you're just doing this just take your time and have fun as with all all of the lessons you know the main thing is that you're having fun learning something is great and just enjoying yourself is I see Because sometimes, you know, we don't do as much sculptural stuff with the polymer clay, but it's pretty fun. I mean, frogs are cool. So now we're putting the left hand on, and this would be the arm hand on here. If you think his leg is too far forward, then just kind of scooch it back. And then that's like a really short arm. Okay. So, and if it helps, you know, make kind of do a, a little indention where you're gonna where you want to put the arm, like the top of the arm or the shoulder-ish area. Oh, like it. Okay. And then you just kind of go back over the foot. Okay. And once you get them where you like it, then great. Okay. So, and then if you want to do any texture, I like the idea of putting little dots. Those are big dots. <laughs> so it just kind of adds some fun to your frog. So, and then what, then when you're ready to put them in the oven, just kind of go around and make sure you've got them really nicely attached so it doesn't fall off later. But don't press too hard or you're, you're going to mess up your nice shape you just spent a long time with. And then the excess clay you don't use, just put it back so then you can keep, you know, you want his mouth to be open more than just you know just keep going over it but, all right then as just to remind you for 275 oven temperature at, for 12 minutes should do it and then have fun painting them and uh, next time we'll do something different so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you guys again in the classroom and uh, take good care of yourselves and we'll see you soon.